Hello, everybody, and welcome to this jazzy dungeon with me, Oxfu. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, and we just entered the Dancing Dragon Dungeon. Wasn't the Dancing Dragon like. Wasn't that the pub in um, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings? No, that was that was the Prancing Pony. Aha! Okay, I I I, rem I remember what happened in that book totally. No, I've got to go back and reread those because well, they just they just re re released um the movies in HD just a while ago, and I went to go see them with my girlfriend. By the way, you can push that block, go over here, pick up some bombs because they're gonna be useful in a little bit. Um. I don't think this is a secret wall. Maybe it is. Let's see. Nope. Okay. I just wanted to check. And you know what? For for him, for hell's sake, we'll we'll check the other wall. We got enough bombs anyway. What do we got? Like thirty of them. Okay, all the sorgas are going on this thing again. But no. Um. They re-released the uh the Blu-ray versions. The uh. I can't even remember what they what what they uh what they advertise them as, but then they did the re-release through theaters, and I went to see those with my girlfriend, and we were talking just about, you know, different things with the, with the, the, the movies and the books, and, just, you know, sh shooting the breeze that way. Not shitting the breeze, shooting the breeze. Um, I just realized that I gotta read the books again. Might as well, I just finished reading a, another fantasy series anyway. Yeah, um, went to go see that new Harry Potter movie, not just, not too long ago. I actually dressed up as, uh, Sirius Black, uh, straight from Azkaban, and went to see it that way. We showed up around, like, five o'clock in the morning to do that. <gasps> okay, I remember what we have to do in here. I'm like, well, what is this? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Um, what we actually have to do in this is we have to push all of these pots onto them. Well, we have to push them onto seven of them, and then we have to stand on the last one. Now I remember what we have to do. Yeah, if I remember, this dungeon has a couple of puzzles like these, ones that you just... It takes a second to remember what's going on because you haven't played this you haven't played this far in this game for quite some time. And you you meet this and you're like, wait, well, what am I supposed to do? But anyway, getting back on topic. No, I went to go see um Harry Potter's and the Deathly Hallows, part two. With uh, my girlfriend, um, one of our best friends, um, her boyfriend, and a few other people. And it was just good fun. And there we go, we get a small key. You'd think for all that headache we'd get something more, but no. No, no. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here, but now that we can dive and swim, we can check. No, okay. Can't remember if there's any act anything in any of these dungeons that's like that, actually. Oh, so you saw how we flipped that switch and it changed it so that we had to be on the track that we just went up? If you switch it like that, and you hit a bend like that, it'll just send you back, so... Won't derail the card or anything. I don't even know why I'm picking up these pots. I don't need rupees, I don't need hearts. Let's just keep going. Alright, what are you? Are you anything? Okay, we gotta put you on a switch. Because you're probably a closing door. But no, I was... I was... Very surprised, because... Now, I've only ever watched two of the movies before. I've I read all the books. I, um, Gavalt was talking about, uh, reading the books as a challenge with his friends, um, earlier this summer, and I was like, you know what? I should do that, too. Because I had a lot of fun with the earlier books when I read them. Because, I, I mean, I read up to the fourth book, but the fourth book was just like, this is crap. And I decided, I'm done with this. But then, a few years ago, I saw the fifth movie with that same best friend. Um, she's one of the ones, actually, from the uh, 
the what is it called? The 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 the, the what is that game called? The Time Splitters uh, multiplayer game that I uploaded a while ago. But anyway, we the only girl. <laughs> Anyway, she was the one who brought me to see the fifth movie, and I really loved that. That's actually turned out to be my favorite book, too. I don't know... I don't know why I didn't get it back into it then, because the thing that turned me off to the whole series was I just really didn't like the fourth book, and I just really didn't like... Oh, let's get out of Boomerang so we can take care of this loser. I just didn't really like the first movie either, because they were just not that good in my opinion. The fourth book was just boring, and the first book did... Well, it was like... It, the fir first movie, it was like the first book. It just showed off special effects and just stuff like that. Um, which is fine in a book, because it's just showing off fantasy. There's nothing wrong with that, but in a movie, just showing off isn't really enough. Um, but this one I really enjoyed, and I'm really glad I went back and read the other ones, because while the fifth is my favorite now, a lot of people don't like it, and I don't understand why. I think it's, like, the shit's pajamas. But, um... The sixth one was really good. The seventh one... <gasps> Ow, no. I thought there was something down there. That's why I went to go check. No! <sighs> I mean, we've lost four hearts from just that. God. Uh, but... The sixth book was really good. The seventh book... Well, the sixth book is... Uh... <gasps> no! <sighs> Stupid disappearing platforms. I'm never good at this. Well, now I am, I guess, because I told myself I wasn't good at it, and you know what? As soon as I try to say that I'm not good at it, it decides I am. Alright, so obviously I can see the path. I don't know if you can see it, because I don't know how dark the screen is right now, but... Yeah, you know what? You, you can... S can you see the path? Okay, you guys can, but on my screen it is light enough to make it out. I guess they wanted to make it, make sure for those kinds of people that, you know, just love to use their ember seeds on everything that they could actually get past everything. But um, yeah, we got a small key. You know, I'm not just I'm just gonna not gonna light it again because I can see where everything is. You guys probably can. I don't. It doesn't look like it's showing up on the video, but. It had to be bright enough so you could kind of see it on the Game Boy screen, I guess. Again, for those people that just think that they need to use all those ember seeds for some reason. Ooh, that was close. Ah, uh, that was close too. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really fun. And we got there around like 5 o'clock and they only let us into the theater at like 10. So we were waiting on our asses in line for like 5 hours. <laughs> It was really fun, though. I made a few friends, and we started some of the some of the little Harry Potter jokes while we were waiting to like the whole pipe bomb ver uh, Harry Potter puppet pals thing. We started some of the uh, very Potter musical songs, and if I had to be honest, that's what really got me back into it. Um, the very Potter musical. I really suggest if you if you have any sort of liking for Harry Potter and you've not seen that, go check it out because that thing is absolutely phenomenal. In fact, well, by the Star Kid Potter project, project, pr Star Kid Potter project, production guys. Oh, I like all their stuff too, so because they've done a couple, they've done uh, Me and My Dick, which is about people and their wings, <laughs> and they've done what's the other one? They've done Star Kid. Uh, not Stargate, Starship, which is just a smorgasbord of, uh, science fiction references and such, and I just really like it. <laughs> I just, they're, they're just really funny folk, so, don't know what else you want. Uh, we gotta keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because I, I didn't realize I had to hit that switch afterwards. There we go. Oh, I needed that heart. Yeah, what I don't like about the tracks is that it treats it as though you've just left the dungeon. As you can see, all the enemies respawn and everything. Which, I mean, is nice if I'm grinding for hearts or rupees, but... Especially in this game, you don't have to grind for rupees. Wait a moment. 
stay a while and listen. Okay, there is a there is a locked door over here. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, where are we going? See, that's what I don't like about this dungeon, because there's so much... Well, this dungeon and some of the later ones, there's a lot of backtracking that's going to be happening. Let's get out of Boomerang, just in case one of these guys runs into us. At least they give us a way to kill him. <laughs> if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Do you know what I am saying? Yes, sir, I know what you are saying. I need to have a bottom bitch. Alright, Cherise. Every time you get... Ah! No! Shoot! I hate these guys. Okay. I forgot how much I hate the spider guys. Especially later on when they get even tougher, because they'll jump on top of you, home in, and it's like, bitch, get off my face. Like that. God! No! No, 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 I need hearts, I need hearts, I need hearts, I need hearts. Hearts would be nice. Have a heart. In a world of pure imagination. I don't know why I thought of that, but... Okay, we got the compass. It would be nice to get, like, a fairy or something. Alright, let's see if any of these guys will give us hearts. I think it's the other guys we want to hit for hearts, but... Yeah, it's the guys that track the wall. Oh, what else has been up with me? Well, I finally sold my old car. The one that, um... Okay. Oh, shoot. <sighs> Hit dive a little too early. The one that um, busted after Anime Boston. I can't remember if I told anybody about that on YouTube. Of course I told. <gasps> Fairy, come here. Thank you. <laughs> but ooh, I like this puzzle because you can dive under it while it's going by. By like that. Like likes. Nobody likes like likes because like likes are like so bad. I don't know why the person who liked like likes enough to put like likes in this like game decided that they liked him enough to call them like likes and who he ever thought would like like these like likes okay enough puns everybody's already done it anyway <laughs> no okay okay Okay, that little outburst was because I thought um, the AC down here was coming on again because I started hearing a humming, but it's just the re it's just the freezer we have down here to store like our meat and stuff. So it's all cool. No, no, no! You cannot have all my health because I'm gonna open this key block and then I'm gonna run into like three more of your brethren and you're gonna kill me because you hate me for some reason, even though I'm just coming in here. And like I said, killing all your brethren. Why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me so? <laughs> Alright, I think this is where we learn about the trick with the Pegasus Seeds and Rock's Feather. Actually, because I don't think we can get past here. Hearts would be nice, but you're not gonna give me any. I'm trying to remember what item we actually get in here. Greater speeds gives greater distance. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, well, you know what? Next time, we'll, I'll show that exploit that I've already shown you guys on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me. Oh, it's Foo. Well, I guess I can show it now. Take it easy. Ha! I killed your master. Three times over. All right, see you guys. Hoo! Hoo! Ah! Whoa, I didn't even do that with the Pegasus Seed. That's not right. Oh, well. Take it easy, guys.